Ah, guten Tag, meine Herren. So, today's job is probably the easiest of the lot. It's the last part of my service. It's an oil change. I'm going to change the oil filter and I'm going to change the oil. Okay? So, this is the, as we know, the 1981 Mercedes Benz W123 E230 petrol. Okay, so at the back here you'll find your oil filter, which is inside this housing here. Okay, you've just got one, well, this particular one, my one, you've got, I've seen different ones. You've got one nut on the top here, and for that you require a size 13 is upside down to a socket and a ratchet okay open that up take it out and inside you'll find a filter you will also need for your sump nut let's see uh, well on my sump nut I think it's a 13 or 14 but that's a little bit loose so because my nut is a bit worn on the sump what actually fits it perfectly nice and snug is yeah, the, the half. So that's for the sump nut. Of course, you're also going to need your replacement filter. That out there. Your basin, six liters. I think it's five and a half in this. I'm not too sure. And of course, the filthy oily rag. So first of all, let's pop the filter out. So, warm your engine up a little bit. Not too much. Just helps the oil come out. You see, I had the the brains to switch my <laughs> engine on. And I loosen this out a bit. I've, I've already uh, undone the nut with the um, ratchet. So it's going to take it out. Let's have a look and see what state this filter is in. It's quite a long bolt. Let's come. Put it in there for the minute. Top off. And there should be a little handle on your filter. Just pull it up and just pull it out. There she comes. And that's the old filter. As you can see, out. There's the filter, the head filter housing down there. Okay, so next up is let's open this sump nut. And get the sump trained. Okay, so on with the rubber gloves. Got me cloth, got me ratchet, and got me basin up underneath. And there's the sump that we're going to open. Don't do what I done, in my wisdom that time I slacked off the nut on the top of the oil filter and then decided to move the car back, only like, like started for little or nothing uh, and moved it back about six, four feet up the garden. <laughs> oil has come from the oil filter housing because I slacked it off, you can see it dripping down there but sure anyway, it's just a bit of oil on the dry, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so Oh, sorry. There's your nut. Let me go. Let me get her on. It's nice and snug. And let's open her up. It's looking a bit stiff. Let the let the let the black gold flow, huh? Just gonna take this off and there she comes. There she goes. There she blows. There she blows. So black. I have a lot of doubts about this car and the services that I had. The chap I bought it from was a lovely old man, but um, I think he was getting ripped off for quite a while by a couple of mechanics. 
Anyway, let's drain this fecker out and uh, we'll come back to you in a second. So, like most things in the shitty world we live in now, the rubber ring that came with the uh, new filter is too big. Brilliant. So, I may dump that and go revert to the old one for now. It's alright, it's not brittle or anything, but I'll just put that back on. Um, that's a lot of shit. It's too big. Brilliant. Just gonna pop this one back on. So we were waiting for the uh, sun to dry now, which doesn't take very long. We just do the bits here. So don't forget your silver washer onto the stem, which is a replacement one. It's the new one going on there. And of course uh, your copper washer to replace the washer on your sump plug as pointed out to me by the uh, ever known Ben <laughs> thanks Ben Second. No. <sighs> so that's the oil drained out. Let's get our new sump plug back on with new copper ring on it. Let's get this back in. Screw it back into place. And give her a little tighten. Side from dripping, and that's her done. And that's the sun plug, that's the sun drain, and sun back plug back in place. Now, nice new clean filter, pop her down and in. It's a bit tight. That's him in position, back down and in. Turn the lid back on, and then your bolt. Don't forget to change your prop or your, your washer. Back down he goes. Start screwing him back into position, and that's your filter done. And back to your ratchet, and give it a little tight. And that's her. Don't have to ring her off, just make sure she's nice and tight. Sweet. So we go. Again, the car was low on oil because that's a six litre basin. So there's barely five litres in it. So that's it. Filter's back in position, sump nuts locked back in, sump is drained. All you've got to do now is add in the oil. I've gone for 15.40 more oh, well. It's just oil I've had already, so it's new. I just got it for nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it in 15.40. I know it's just 10.40 on it, but that's just going to put it into that can because it has a nozzle on it. So let's top it back up. Because I'm extremely anal, I'm just going to measure out. I think this car is going to take just over 5 litres. So I'm just going to go this way because, like I said, I'm really anal. So I'm just going to measure out 1,000 milliliters, which is a liter, and uh, go liter by liter. Holy clean oil. Look at that. 
liquid gold compared to the black stuff that came out of it. <laughs> this will probably be black by this evening. Deadly. Up you come, up you come. Up you come, up you come. That's one eater. Ainless, that's me. Oh yes. Lovely clean liquid gold going in. Isn't that lovely? Pretty satisfying watching oil going in, isn't it? Or am I just odd? Yeah, so that's it. All done. So what I'm going to do now is check the oil level. Um, unfortunately, the oil is still quite black. Which is not good. So really, I think I'm going to change the oil again. In a couple of weeks. You can see there. I mean, it's kind of clear, but it's not great. It's still black, you know. So, what I might do is I'm going to start the car up now, take it for a run. But I think I'll definitely be changing the oil again in a couple of weeks. It's pretty nasty. And of course, we just check the sump now, make sure that's bone dry, and then we are good. <laughs> And so what we do now is we start her up, take her for a run, let her cool down a little bit, check the oil again and see if it needs any more. But I think I'm definitely going to do an oil change again in a couple of weeks because it's still black. Oh, I don't know, she must have been ill treated in her life. Anyway, that's it. Thanks Ben, as usual, on the end of the phone. Cheers buddy. Of course, don't forget to get rid of the nasty stuff. Throw it back into the old container, look at that. Jesus, that's black. So I'm telling you, this car hasn't been serviced right in a long time. Huh? That'll do you, Josh. Just a quick comeback because it's me as usual. <laughs> when I put the oil in, of course it was black. Because what did I not do? I didn't start the engine. So you just come in here, Josh, have a quick zoom in. I've given the car a little run, come back, topped it up again. We're all done. Nice, clean, fresh oil, as you can see. Bang on the mark. Happy days, happy, happy. That's me done. One oil change and filter changed. I'm off now to fit a set of uh, wind deflectors onto this Cinquecento here, which is belongs to the kids. Nice one, good luck.